Hey guys, so I decided to do a quick what I've been mounting video. We have loads of shadows around us today, so I've got literally all my lights on and I don't know what's happening with the weather. Like we had all this good weather and now it's so dark, it looks like it wants to rain. So I've been trying to bring the summer out in my wax melt. So I'm just going to grab on into my empties. I'm just doing these more regularly at the moment because I am going through so much more in my melt box. First empty, as always, in cotton wool balls. I use these to clean out my melter. These are from my local chemist and they actually do quite well. I only use four balls to clean out my melter, three for the initial picking up the wax and one to clean out anything that's left behind. I do have another bag of these and then I'll go back to the Morrison ones. I did finish off a candle and this is DW Home Green Tea Leaves. Sorry about the glare there, there we go. Green Tea Leaves. I still have quite a bit here, but as you can probably tell, this started to soot like mad. So as soon as that starts to happen, that's it for me. It goes, I'm not having my white walls turning to a sooty black colour. This was a really nice blender scent. You could really put this on any time you wanted to melt as well. It's just a fresh green scent, there's no like leaves note, it's just a really nice fresh green scent and I, I would repurchase that from TK Maxx if I found it. I did finish off a Little Briar Rose from VCS and so this is green apple, pomegranate and cotton candy. I will admit the first time I melted this I was a bit like mm, I can't, can't get a throw from this but I don't think I put enough in. Second time I melted it, so first time this week. I got such a really nice sweet green apple scent it was such a nice scent and I did put quite a bit more of a handful in than normal so I think that was all that this was and then I finished this off last night and again great throw really sweet appley scent one that I would look out for again if I could find it but that was really old so I'm glad I've finished that one up. Um, just grab it from out of the bag so can't rock the bin down. This next one is Rose Girls Lavender Tangerine Satsuma. I actually love this one. You do get the lavender but you really get a nice fruity orange scent. I only needed half a cube each time for a massive throw on this one. This one would go out of my room and down the stairs into the hallway. Um, definitely one I really loved. I would purchase this again if I could find it or if she made it in massive chunk bags or even in mini melters. I would consider buying this in mini melters. Loved that one bit sad to see that one go. This one is one that I tried yesterday. This is Tiffany's Marshmallow Pistachio Pudding Cake. This was really strong. Again, another one that was throwing me out of my room and back down into the hallway. You've definitely got the cherry pistachio, but there was no bakery scent. It was just a cherry pistachio with that sort of marshmallow note to it as well. Kind of really sweet and sickly. This next one I absolutely hated. I literally threw this on about two hours ago and I couldn't even stand it, I couldn't finish it melting. I love Tiffany's scents, but this was just something about this to give me the ick. I felt really sick with this, so I had to literally pick up the tart out of my melter and throw it in the bin and then clean up anything that was left behind. So this one is bananas, grapefruit, kiwi, bubblegum, strawberries and vanilla. And I don't know what it was that was mixing funny with my nose, but I just could not stand it. So sorry about that, Tiffany, but I just couldn't couldn't do it. This next one is Tropical Love Spiral by Southbound. These were two little tarts that I got from a friend. I had one left and I did decide to actually mix this. So let me find... Okay, I mixed this with Tiffany Candles Mini Hearts in Barbie Girl Clean Cotton and Pink Sugar. We had a day on our wax challenge where we had to mix a load of scents. So I picked these two, which is actually five scents all together. And it grew really well. These two mixed together like, was amazing. Um, you definitely got the tropical love spell, you got the really fruity note and then the perfume note. But then mixed with the clean cotton and pink sugar with this, actually really went quite well. It did, it had about a medium throw. Uh, I would purchase the tropical love spell again and I love the Baby Girl clean cotton straight away. And the last one I've got as an empty is Message in a Bottle by Bathing Garden. Now this one was mandarin, juicy mango, tonka beans, vanilla ice cream and coconut. I absolutely really liked this one in the end. I first started hating it but then I put two cubes in each of, in my melter, um, 
and it actually threw better than just one. This is a very Caribbean tropical scent. Um, you definitely get all of those notes there. Um, you don't get the coconut so much, which is probably why I liked it more. But this was a clam that was starting to go really sticky. Look, it's starting to get a bit melty. So that's why I decided to use this one up. I love Bathing Garden. I wouldn't repurchase that one, but it was nice to try. And then on to the things I didn't finish but I have melted. So this one will probably be in my empties next week. This is Super Tarts Orange is the New Black, which is orange juice, burnt marshmallows and pomegranate. I purely put this one in to clean the air when I've got scents that I don't like, i.e. that monkey kisses. This is on now to clean the air from this one. Um, and purely because the clam is, well, it's worse than the bathing garden one. This one is horrendous, but there is so much oil in this one that you get the scent as soon as this hits your mouth. Uh, I love the scent of this. This is pure orange juice and well, it's just a fruity note really. You get mostly orange juice. I don't get the marshmallows at all. As I said, this will probably be in my empties next week just to get the clams on. Another one that I have melted today, this is Stars and Stripes, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Cool Crisp Mint and Smooth Cream and Vanilla. And this is by Southbound. I use one cube at a time in my 20 watt and this one throws really well. This one I had on from about 9 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock when it started to die out. Um, and it had a medium to high throw. I started to get a little bit of a headache between 11 and 12 when all I could smell was the last bits of the mint and the vanilla. The strawberry scent really burnt off quite quickly in this one. It is a nice one but not something I would repurchase. This one I absolutely love. This is Glitterati Juniper Breeze and White Tea and I absolutely, this one is an amazing throw. I have one of these in my melter, my 20 watt melter at a time and I tend to put this on in the morning because to me this is a freshing wake you up sort of scent. This knocks me for six every time I pop it on. So glad I've got two more melts in this and I will be using this in my melt challenge uh, at the end of the month. You get initially the juniper breeze, you don't really smell the white tea but the juniper breeze it knocks you over, bats you out into your next garden basically. This one's another one that throws straight down into the hallway out of my room. I think I've got some airflow problems in my room, but for me to smell it all that way, I'm not too bothered. Absolutely love that one. would be sad to see it go. This next one we have is Steak Bath Derby Hats. So this is Georgia Peach and Berry Sangria. So I melted this one day and I used half a flower tart, which I actually think was way too much for my melter. I couldn't really smell this. I could smell it for the first two hours. You really get the Georgia with that sort of fizzy note of the sangria. But after that, you don't smell much. So I think I'm going to try just using one quarter and seeing how that does. So far, I love Zapes. Um, items. I just couldn't smell this up for two hours, which was a bit depressing because I last one through for ages. This next one I have is Rose Girls Lavender Olive Branch and Sultana Lush Type. This is life. I love this scent. This threw amazingly as soon as it got into the melter. Um, you get the sort of olive branch type and the lavender mixed together really well. I don't necessarily get the sultana, but the olive branch and the lavender melted together is absolutely amazing. I only use mm, probably about that, that much with that little bit here. So I have three melts at a time to go. Love this scent, would recreate this if I can or if she ever makes it again. It's a massive thrower. This is a this was a high thrower for me and I loved it. It's a great scent to relax to at night time. This next one, Sugar Cookie by Tiffany's. I absolutely love this one. I didn't know whether I was going to like it. I'm not a bakery person, I will admit that now. But this was amazing. I popped this on in the morning, about 7 o'clock in the morning. So I usually do my melts at 4 hours at a time. This one, 7 till 11 for me. Massive thrower. But it didn't smell like sugar cookies. To me, it smelled like maple syrup, and for a morning melt, that was amazing. I can imagine that this one and this one together would smell absolutely amazing in the morning. So orange juice and maple syrup, that to me is a breakfast melt, and that's what I would melt in the morning. I will forever repurchase this, as long as it stays the same sort of scent 
I did smell the first time. I've got two more tarts here, so this will be going um, into my melts, but not in my melt box, because to me this was a bit more of a winter scent. It was very warming, very nice to have in the morning to wake up to, but it was very warming and not something that I'd necessarily want to melt in the summer, but I absolutely love the scent. This, however, is something I do love in the summer. This is California Dreaming, which is mango sorbet, and this is by VCS. I melt one quarter of this at a time, and this is literally like fruity heaven. I put this on one day, in the middle of the day, went downstairs, I spent some time with my nan, came back up, and this was throwing really strong. This was filling my room and just about coming out of the door. This is such a sweet scent that it really does lift your moods. It makes you happy. It it smells amazing, literally it is mango, it is a watered down mango, um, nice scent that I didn't, really didn't think I'd like to like at all to be fair. This next one is Friar Lawrence's Potion and this is by VCS, I have one more cube of it left. This is Cucumber Mint, Salty Sea Air, Eucalyptus and Spearmint, so this is one of the ones that I am going to finish off tomorrow, however I am feeling that this is either a morning melt or an evening melt. I don't melt these sort of scents in the day. This one, I can't really remember the throw on it, but I think that was because I melted it at night and spent most of the time downstairs at that night. I re do remember coming up, up to turn my melter off at about half nine, and this was throwing. It was still really strong. I absolutely loved it. Um, I, if I remember rightly, you could get the cucumber and the salty sea air more than anything else, which is surprising with spearmint in a blend. So one more melt, this will be melted tomorrow and you'll see this in my empties for next week. And the last scent is one that I'm going to finish off tonight. This is Rose's Powder Room by VCS. This one is Peach, Lavender and Bergamot. I melted this at the beginning of the week and I wasn't really too sure on it. You don't get so much of the lavender, but you do get the peach and bergamot. And it, to me, it just didn't, something didn't click with my nose. I'm going to try it again and see what it was that I didn't really like. Um, but otherwise, it's not something that I would repurchase. So that's everything for this week, guys. I know this was a little bit of a shorter empties for me. Um, just wanted to get out there what I have been melting before I forget. And it was also inspired by Kim because she's on the same sort of level with me and... She inspired me to do my empties today. So thanks, Kim. <laughs> um, I'm going to go now, guys. Hopefully there'll be a few more videos to be recorded in the next couple of days. Um, my mailbox is thinning out now, so I might be either emptying it and starting a total new one or adding some more things in. I haven't decided yet. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.